Hello everyone, my name is Boomuppet and welcome back to a, well, I wouldn't call it a Minecraft video, it kind of is, kind of isn't. Um, now also don't question my background, I accidentally set one of my thumbnails as my background ages ago and I don't know how to change it, so yeah. And that is quite funny because I'm going to be teaching you something today that you probably didn't know. Now it's something that I just figured out how to use recently, uh, properly anyway. And um, it's something that I've been getting requests for and something that I've wanted to do a tutorial for for a while but never really could be bothered. So a new update is just released so I can do this again pretty well. So um, it is a free cam setup guide. Now free cam is a debug camera. It allows you to move around your world freely using your camera angle. It allows you to x-ray underground, view caves so you can light them up. And if you're cheaty, then find diamonds, but where's the fun in that? So this is one that I've been getting so many requests for and just never could be bothered to make it because to be honest, I'm not 100% sure how it works, but I know how to make it now. And first things first, I want to give all credit for figuring out this method to Navy Nexus, okay? Navy Nexus is the person who has discovered how to do all of this, as far as I'm aware. Maybe someone else did it before him, I don't know. But um, yeah, a link to his channel will of course be in the description because none of this would have been possible without his video. However, there are some things that he did not explain in his video that I am going to try and cover in this one. So I really do hope that you enjoy. Um, now, first things, if you. First things first, a few things about FreeCam. Now, there are some major disadvantages to it, okay? Nothing too awful, but it's definitely not like spectator mode for Bedrock Edition, or sorry, from Java Edition. It is very, very different. Um, with FreeCam, yes, you can go underground, yes, you can light up caves and everything, but whenever you activate it, it will um, it will always fly over to the coordinates zero zero. But I'll show you what you can do about that. Uh, there is a kind of way of getting around, or well, not really getting around it, but dealing with that. Um, and I'll show you once I get it. Well, once I get it set up. Okay. Now, first things first. I want you to launch File Explorer. By the way, I'm gonna blur out anything that I don't want you guys seeing. Um, just because, yeah. You know, privacy reasons. Uh, then you want to go to your local disk drive. Okay, so this one. Uh, then what you want to do is just go into program files and then you want to find, so well actually first what you want to do is you want to make sure, so you go into view and you make sure that hidden items here is checked. Okay, so hidden items that has to have a tick through it and then this folder here will appear called Windows Apps. Now, at first, you may not be allowed to access it, and I had the same issue. This is something that Navy Nexus did not explain how to do. Now, here's the thing, I can't actually remember entirely how I got around it, but um, I'm pretty sure I went into properties and stuff, uh, and I just, I think I had to create a role or something and then it would allow me into the file uh, but I had to give myself that role so basically I'm administrator on my computer but it wouldn't let me access it for some reason and you guys may well have the same issue remember I'm not entirely sure how to get around it but please try everything and um, if you do have a step-by-step -step guide on how to get around it please comment it and I will pin your comment below okay because I I'm not 100% sure myself but as soon as you do get access to that open it up and then what you want to do is scroll down to microsoft.minecraftuwp okay it might be quite hard to find in all of this mess but it looks like this microsoft.minecraftuwp and then it's the version time 64 okay so just want to open that up then you want to head into data and then definitions then you want to head into cameras and then cameras again. Now this here is where you want to be. Now first things first, uh, I want you to drag the third person.json file here. I want you to drag that 
over onto your desktop, okay? Because as soon as you've done that, we are going to be deleting this file. Now, I, I already have it on my desktop, so I didn't have to do that. But, um, yeah, just as soon as you've done that, delete that file. If it doesn't let you delete it yet again, I don't know how to get around that. I did somehow, but I can't remember. <laughs> so I'm really sorry about that. But, um, yeah, just try and figure out a way around it. And as soon as you do make sure to comment it down below and I'll pin your comment so that people know how. Okay, then what I want you to do, okay, is go into the description of this video and download the thirdperson.json file that is there, okay? Um, it's a media file link, so yeah, you, yeah. Um, and then that will give you the debug camera, so that's actually the same code as this one here. Uh, but with a few changes that I made that suits FreeCam a little bit better. It's the same file that Navy Nexus uses, uh, but I didn't download his exactly, I just used the debug one, then I changed a few things about it and made it pretty much exactly the same as Navy Nexus's, so um, it might even be the same, I don't know. But uh, yeah, then all you want to do is just download that file and chuck it on your desktop, okay? Then I also want you to go into the description of the video and download something called IOBit Unlocker, okay? IOBit Unlocker will allow me... what the hell? Oh, Bixby, Jesus. How did it pick up that? Sorry, I've got Bixby on my phone, it's like the Samsung knockoff equivalent of Siri, it's really annoying. Uh, I'll just chuck that over there. Okay, anyway, <laughs> I want you to download IOBit Unlocker. Okay, and what that will allow you to do is uh, unlock the file and copy it over to um, this area. So you'll be replacing your third person back camera angle with this custom one, okay? So what I want you to do is as soon as you have downloaded iBit Unlocker and the file in the description, what I want you to do is open up iBit Unlocker and then yeah, it will say do you want it to make changes to your device, click yes. Um, and then, as soon as it's open, click add. Oh wait, no. Wait, hold on. Oh, sorry, no, I've done that wrong. Don't do that. Okay, uh, go, so, you know that file I made you download earlier? Right click on it, and then click on iBit Unlocker. And then click yes, make changes to your device. Okay, then what you want to do is click on this little arrow here, and then click unlock and copy. Okay. Then, all you need to do is just do the same files as you did before. So, your local disk drive, program files, then you want to go down to Windows Apps, then you want to go into Microsoft.Minecraft UWP, there it is, and then you want to go into Data, Definitions, Cameras, and then click on Cameras, and then click OK. And what that'll do is say unlock and copy successfully, and then you can just click exit. And that'll put this custom thirdperson.json file right there. Okay. Now you can just close your file explorer and open up your Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So, um, if my Minecraft takes a minute to load, just give it a second. But, uh, yeah, by the way, just while it's loading up, I'd like to say I do not take any responsibility for any system damage that you do, okay? Uh, everything that I do in this video is 100% legit, I'm not trying to give you any viruses, I'm not trying to damage your computer. Any system damage that you do is your own fault, not mine. I do not take any responsibility for anything that you do to your computer, okay? Because it's not my fault it's yours okay because I've done everything in this correctly and if you've if you've copied me successfully then that means you're good okay uh, so just know that I don't take any responsibility okay so I've just loaded up my redstone testing world um, just so I can show this to you so of course as soon as you activate free cam okay so for me it's f5 it'll take your camera angle to zero zero okay so this is zero zero for me all you need to do is fly over to where your character is. Now, if you're thousands of blocks away, I'll show you how to deal with that, okay? Um, but for now, yep, so this is what I'll show you for now. 
this is free cam okay so over here this is my player and my camera angle is just my third person back camera angle but changed so my third person back camera angle is now free cam and I can move it anywhere it's brilliant for taking thumbnails I find if you're a content creator it's really helpful for that um, and also it's incredibly helpful for viewing mob spawning so say you um, you want to test out a farm and you want to see if mobs are spawning but you want to like get up close with the mobs um, then all you need to do is go into free cam and then of course your player is still down like down on the ground but your camera angle can be way it can be far far away okay now free cam it saves its previous location so say I come out of free cam here okay my free cam was up there if I just go back into it it's now back up here again okay it won't go to zero zero every single time uh, which is quite helpful it'll stay in the last place that you used it so mine's back here if I move it over here right into my character then as soon as I go into it as you can see it'll move all the way into my character here and I get a nice shot of my character's butt which is awesome okay uh, <laughs> but yeah so free cam is incredibly helpful and I do suggest getting this on your computers uh, but yet again I don't take any responsibility for any system damage that you may cause in the process of doing this if you're not 100% sure on something then trust me it's not worth risking your computer okay if you if you're not 100% sure that um, you know what you're doing here and you know you're not 100% sure that you trust me then that's fine just don't do it it's not that exciting okay it's just free cam it's helpful but it's not worth risking your computer for okay so um just make sure that you're aware of that uh but yeah of course this does allow you to clip through blocks now i'm actually going to take this into another world for a bit just so i can show you what it can do so um i'm not going to use it on breaking bedrock uh because well, yeah, I don't want to I have to fly it 6,000 blocks, but what I am going to do is uh, I'm just going to create a new world and I'm going to call it FreeCam. I'm going to make it in creative mode and I'm going to, nah, actually, I won't give it a seed. Uh, I'll just chuck on a resource pack, just my night vision resource pack um, and vibrant ores and uh, that'll be it. So I'll just log on to the game. Now the reason why I'm putting on this is because I'm going to show you the people that like to cheat out there how to cheat properly, okay? <laughs> I'm not a cheater, of course I don't do this personally, but um, of course, you know, it's your decision really, isn't it? Also I'm just going to do this real quick. Show coordinates, ah oh, no, not show death messages. Show coordinates, true. Ah, no. True. There you go. Okay, so I'm not that far away from zero, 0, that's great. Uh, so as you can see, when it makes you fly to zero, 0, it makes you, um, like, it forces you over really quickly and you can see what direction to go in because you get a brief glimpse of it. So say your free cam is miles away, it's at a thousand blocks, you'll get a brief glimpse of what direction your free cam needs to go and uh, so like it'll last about a second then you'll go out of your loaded chunks um, so yeah just try and figure out what direction you need to fly it and that is how you deal with that so in fact I'm just gonna teleport to um, thousand and then zero oh well actually no and then a hundred and then zero like that just so I can show you how to deal with this so let's say your free cam is very far away like that as you can see you get a brief glimpse of where it is and you can just fly in that direction okay so I'm just holding the W key now and we're going forward maybe a thousand blocks is a bit excessive because now I'm gonna have to talk until I get there but um, I'm just gonna fly free cam over towards where I got the glimpse of the islands at, or of the render distance and here we go I am here now and yeah I can now use free cam and I can now x-ray underground see all the caves see where to light them up and now I'm going to show you how to cheat properly using this okay of course yeah again it's your decision please don't cheat on like servers and stuff 
but if you just want to have a bit of fun and see what you can do with this then the best way to cheat is to get a night vision resource pack okay there are some on mcpedl.com and then you want to get a if you want to try and find diamonds then get a vibrant ores texture pack i've got one on my website a link to it is in the description it's not that expensive but um yeah it's uh i think it's one pound something so it's really not that expensive and i can promise you it's worth it so uh yeah you can now see all the ores really clearly so like that's iron this is redstone etc um so yeah to find diamonds as you can see here we go found them and then what you need to do is just fly upwards and then look down see whereabouts it is from where your player is remember the spot go over to it and just dig straight down and free cam will also let you view any lava that you find so uh you know i can see quite clearly there is no lava on my path down to those diamonds it is just stone um so yeah incredibly helpful device to have free cam and I do suggest getting it up on your Minecraft worlds. Yet again, um, there are some things I'm just not sure about and I wish I was because it would make for a better tutorial. Um, but yeah, if you guys do find out how to do any of this stuff, please comment it down below and I will pin your comment so that everybody else can know. Alright, um, so yeah, for now I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. I really hope that you did enjoy this guide on how to use FreeCam. It has been incredibly helpful for me over the years and also, uh, oh sorry, over the past few months. I've not had it for years now I think about it. Um, I've had it for about seven months I think. So uh, yeah, it's incredibly helpful and I really hope that you get as much enjoyment out of it as I have. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Uh, if you have any questions about this video or any other video that I have, please do join my Discord server and ask me there. And if you want to support me, then do hit the subscribe button and support me on Patreon as well if you want, because uh, I have got a Patreon and I do greatly appreciate anyone that supports me there. Um, another thing that you can do if you really want to support me well is Nitro Boost my Discord server, so you can give me a boost on there, and that is always incredibly nice to have. And if you do either of those things, then you will get a shout out at the end of my videos and early access uh, or early sneak peeks and things of what I'm doing. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Once again, not responsible for any system damage. Ciao for now. Bye.